Well, good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. And I'm so thankful that you join us each day and and you're so consistently um, making God, making the Word of God a part of your life. Hey, that's that's what we need to do. We're in this together, step by step. We as we um, as we walk through this life, we can uh, we can um, do this together uh, through the through the work of Christ in, in our lives. Amen. Our passage today is found in Psalms twenty-seven, one. Something to remember, something to highlight in, in, in your scriptures. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be, for, be afraid? Psalms 27, 1. It's, these are rhetorical questions. He's saying that there, there is nothing and there's no one and there's no circumstance. There's no diagnosis. There's no financial setback. There's no um, no uh, p policy that they can come up with in the in the White House uh, that we have to fear, because God is our light, He's our strength, and He's our He's our salvation. That it, when we have Christ, when we have the Lord, we have everything that we need. He, remember, we in our studies on God, we talked about His omniscience. We talked about His, his omnipotence. That He is all-powerful he is all-knowing that he is everywhere that god knows all things and he controls all things and he is sovereign and that there is nothing that can happen to you that he does not allow to happen i like the idea there that that word light in there. there's something about light you ever watch one of those movies where a police officer is going into a dark house and so he's got his gun, he's got the little flashlight on there, and he's walking through, and he's going uh, uh, around corners, going in the bedrooms, going in the closets underneath the bed. And he's got that little flashlight. And I look at that, you know, in the darkness, all you, 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 it, the suspense is there. They got the music playing there and everything else. But in my mind, I'm going, why don't you turn on a light? Why don't you turn on a light? Can't you see more when the light's on rather than that little, little flashlight? I mean, if they're going to shoot, they're going to shoot towards that um, towards that flashlight anyway, you might as well see where you're going to shoot, right? Um, but they don't do it because it brings suspense to the to the movie. And it's something about that light. When the light comes on, all of a sudden it brings everything into perspective, doesn't it? All of a sudden the things that you may have feared aren't so fearful anymore. You think of a young child who, um, who wakes up in the middle of the light and they're afraid because they think something is in the in the closet or something's underneath the bed and dad comes in there and he turns on a light and he looks in the closet and he looks under the bed and he assures you that nothing is there and then he turns on that little night light because that night light dispels the darkness it, it reveals uh what you were afraid of there's nothing there to be afraid of anyway when god um shines his night he's not a little night light he is the light and he reveals to us that when we allow God to be that light in our life, that these things that we fear uh, because of the darkness, that he reveals that they're not worth fearing in the first place. We don't have to fear that diagnosis. We don't have to fear uh, layoffs. And we don't have to fear this. And we don't have to fear that because God reveals that he's in control. He is omnipotent. He is all powerful. And there's nothing that can happen to you that he does not allow. There's nothing. You're immortal. You're immortal until God calls you home. You know what he says here? Uh, whom shall I fear? Uh, whom shall I be afraid? The answer is no one and nothing because God is in control. He is our light and he is our salvation and he is our strength. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. And if God has not given you that spirit of fear, why are you being afraid? And if God has not given you that uh, spirit of fear, who has? Either you've conjured it up on your, on your own, or you've allowed um, the circumstances to outweigh God's intercession in our life. You can't do that. God has not given you that spirit of fear, but of power love and a sound mind you see when we fear or we're not thinking correctly let god reveal let him be that light let him be your salvation let him 
be your strength. Amen? Amen. Remember that God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.